What's going on guys? It's CH from Village Park Source. Welcome back. Okay, so in the last couple of videos, we've talked about jQuery methods, which are these things right here. In the last video, we used the .css as an example. Well, some methods have parameters with arguments in them. Some, some of them don't. But more importantly, what are methods? Well, methods are just like small mini programs that have already been compiled. And that's what makes jQuery so awesome is if we just go ahead and call it, pretty much by giving it the correct spelling, it'll work. So let's go ahead and there's hundreds, I don't even know how many methods there are in jQuery, but if you just go to jQuery, look at their, or go to jQuery and look at their API documentation. Dot add, add back, scroll down, data, transfers data through, effects, fading, sliding. Obviously these would be awesome for slideshows or banner ads. We'll get into these later on as we go. Check out sliding, slide down. Slide toggle, slide up, pictures coming in and out of a banner ad, attributes, CSS, add class CSS, height, inner height, yada, 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 yada. So come check out this site if you guys want to uh, dig deep in the archives of methods in jQuery. But in the meantime, let's do a couple more examples. So what I'm going to do right here, let's just go ahead and get rid of this. And I will just keep one of these village parks just like this. And let's go ahead, and we already know that our selector is that P, so let's go ahead and type in our jQuery money signs. We go ahead and call it, and let's go ahead and put our P in double quotations. I got this microphone right in front of me. It's blocking my keyboard, and I'm a horrible, horrible, horrible touch typer, so bear with. Okay, so let's do the uh, dot hover, and it's pretty self-explanatory. When we hover over, the, it's kind of like any, an event handler with... If you don't know what event handlers are, there's like five of them in JavaScript. There's like on load, on click, off load. Um, I did a video on it a little bit back, but there's like four or five of them. Pretty much lets the browser know when you want to execute this piece of JavaScript. So let's go ahead and function. And there's no um, argument that's going to go inside our parameter. And we'll say, when you hover over this, let's go ahead and change our paragraph text to, we'll keep the same color of the font, but we'll give it a background color. Background color, orange, I don't know, I know a pretty cool hex pattern off the top of my head, FF4800. This is like the Home Depot orange, it's one of my favorite colors. So you can imagine, like I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that six, FF4, yeah, should work, should work. Okay, so let's break this code down a little bit. Okay, so we have our document ready function. So even though we need to hover over our paragraph text for this to operate, we know it's ready. Once we do that, it's there because we've got the document ready. We just need to trigger it by with our mouse to scroll over it. So let's go ahead and close this out. Where the hell? There it is. Save that. And I need a semicolon down here. Let's go ahead and save it. Let me look at this code. Okay, so if we hover over our paragraph text, our paragraph is going to change from the background color of obviously white to this orange. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and open it up with the browser. And we'll use Safari. Village Park, scroll over it, then work. Because my code is missing. We're, okay, let me break this down. There it is. I have one too many closing tag. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and open this back up. Let's reload it. Village Park. Scroll over it. There it is. Background color changed to our orange. FF4800. So we just actually cranked out two jQuery methods. We got the dot hover, which is pretty much like an event handler, and then our dot CSH, which is pretty much going to have an argument in its parameters every time. All right, guys. So hopefully this made sense. In the next video, we will talk about, uh, I think, animate. We'll talk about the um, animate method. All right, guys, I'll see you over there.